Oh no, not another unboxing video, please. Yes. <laughs> Hello there, YouTubers. Here we go again with yet another Dr. Cassette unboxing video. And as you can see, I got this little packet right here. Luxury. Arrived by Air Mail and it's coming from the Tsim Sha Tsui Post Office, Hong Kong. Yep, not the first time I've received a packet from Hong Kong. Uh, this was definitely one of the uh, quicker ones to arrive. Usually it takes quite a while. If you're from Germany, you can also read what it says on there. Don't know how to translate it for my English-speaking audience. I ripped off my address because I don't want to have any unexpected visitors. And what's in there? Well, we're having this little customs declaration right there. Hong Kong Post. It's a microphone. Value $6. And that's pretty accurate. So, <laughs> yep, Hong Kong is always... Always an adventure. Very cheap and uh, very, very unusual. Uh, whatever. Anyway, since this was a gift, it's not a gift, unfortunately. I had to buy this on eBay. Hm. Just felt like doing that. Anyway, let's see what's inside. Not using a tripod here. And uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess that wasn't a good idea. There we go. So, what do we have right here? Well, if you're able to read, you've probably read the title of this video. This is, in fact, a wireless microphone. And yes, a wireless microphone for six dollars. Um, so let's see what's going on in here. What, uh, what do we get? Now, different things. This uh, says Kongin on there, which uh, I don't know if that's any kind of a real brand. KM208 microphone transmitter. Takes a big 9 volt battery, which uh, makes this whole thing kind of big. Much smaller is the receiver. KM208 having the same model numbers. There it is. Unfortunately, it has a big uh, quarter-inch plug, so uh, for, that's, uh, that's of course not perfect for, for use with camcorders. have to make up a solution for that. I had a microphone already with uh, that kind of a setup on the power supply unit. It was a little uh, electric condenser microphone, and uh, I modified it and uh, replace this plug with a cable and a little, you know, a little mini plug on it, but uh, that cost a lot of hum, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. There is a little antenna. And here we have the microphone, which uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, because it's it's a real cheap one, and I do have better, better uh, stick-on microphones whatever. I do know they are having a special name, but I can't remember that at the moment. Uh, but there it is. And uh, it's not even a real clip-on microphone. They are just giving you this cheap little plastic clip, which, uh, which is probably going to break. Who knows? Let's pull that, uh, that cover off of there. And uh, I don't want to put the camera down. I want to do this one-handed. <laughs> I hate when people do that. Like, you know, they they go without a tripod and then right in the middle of the video they find out that uh, they can't do it with one hand and then of course they put the camera down and and so on and so forth. And usually they don't even edit that part out. So uh, there it is. Rather big and clunky and uh, there we go with focus. There it is. Certainly a very cheap thing. So this whole setup might benefit from uh, from a better microphone. Who knows? We're also getting the uh, instruction manual, which uh, of course is all in uh, the wonderful Chinese English, which is always an advantage. Uh, let's see. 
It is very happy that you have this professional wireless clip-on mini microphone of good quality, which will bring you convenience when you are using it in the situation of teaching, conference, monitoring, etc. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, we're also getting two batteries. Now, I don't know if it was in this particular offer or in some other offer, but uh, sometimes these two batteries are being advertised as a special gift. Now, these certainly are a gift, but uh, not in the English meaning. No, they are a gift in the German meaning. In Germany, if you say gift, you mean poison. <laughs> Yeah, because I guess these things are going to uh, become all leaky rather quickly. We have a KB King battery, which even has some uh, plastic shrink wrap around it. And there we go. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> contains plumbium. That's very high tech. I don't think that uh, brand name batteries still contain that. Let's see. Here we have Happy Power. And, uh, no, it's actually not inside of uh, some kind of a plastic or so. You can see that <laughs> the surface of this uh, battery is looking rather crazy. You can see it by the reflection. Extra heavy duty Happy Power battery. Let's see. Well, at least it doesn't contain any mercury. But uh, I don't think I'm going to use these things, so uh, better put those to the side. So, here we have uh, the microphone transmitter and the receiver, and uh, those are the two parts I'm really interested in. Um, I don't really care for that cheap microphone, the batteries are going to the junk, as I already said. But... Uh, you know, I I have been uh, I have been wanting to have a um, a wireless microphone for quite a while because it's just a lot more convenient, and uh, I do know that uh, it is possible to build those microphones yourself. But uh, quite honestly, uh, if you would go and buy all the parts needed for a uh, for for a homemade wireless microphone, you'd probably pay more. Than, uh, than for this thing. So uh, there we have the two. It says AVC on there. It doesn't say that on there. Maybe that's maybe that's a real brand. I don't think that Kongin is a real brand that you could also get in a real shop. I don't know for what kind of thing you'd need a volume control for, but there it is. Power LED on and off switch. And uh, that's the microphone jack. Then we have, of course, this thing, which also features a power switch. There it is. And the power LED. So, uh, there we have the two. That's basically the arrival of this uh, setup. And in the next video, we're going to uh, take these two things into the workshop, and we're going to see what we can do. I definitely would like to uh, take a look inside of these uh, things before I even powered it up because uh, from what I've seen coming from Hong Kong so far uh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, all the soldering joints on the circuit boards in these two things need to be redone and uh, maybe some uh, capacitors need to be replaced, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Never expect something from Hong Kong to work perfectly. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and see you again soon.